Alex, welcome to AFC Bournemouth. You must be absolutely delighted to be here. Yeah, no, like you said, I'm buzzing. Um, obviously, it's been a tough couple of days. Obviously, with the injury as well, finding out that news, it's, it's been hard. But obviously, over the moon to be here. And yeah, hopefully it doesn't take too long and I can, I can go out and, and play at the, at the Vitality. It sounds like this move has sort of been a long time coming. Just tell us how it's been from your perspective. No, it's been tough, but you know, it's, it's part and parcel of being a football player. You've got to expect these things to happen. And, you know, like I said, I'm just, just so happy that, that it's finally got done. Um, been working hard the past few years and, and to finally get, get the move to the Premier League and, and to Bournemouth especially, it's yeah, a really, really good feeling. Have you had much of a chance to speak to Antonio Raiola? I haven't yet, no. Um, I think, think um, in the next few few hours I'll, I'll get to chat to him so yeah I look forward to that and yeah I'm really excited to, to see what plans he has for, for me and again the rest of the club. And I understand you know a couple of the lads as well you obviously would have played with Antoine Semenyo and I think a couple of the younger lads as well Owen Bevan and, and Ewan Pollock. Yeah yeah I know Ants um, of course from playing at Bristol City with him and you know I was, I was really close with him there and it's nice to have a, a familiar face to, to come into here and I'm sure he'll help me out with, with the surroundings and, and things like that and obviously settling in with the group and yeah, I've also know a few of the young lads as well from when I was here as a kid, Ewan and, and Owen as well, so yeah, it'd be nice to speak to them. I haven't spoke to them for probably five, six years now, so yeah, just looking forward to, to getting in, getting involved, settling in and, and yeah, getting to know the, the style of football and, and the lads here. Well, I'm going to take you right back to those days. Obviously, you spent a year with us in the academy in your youth. I'm just going to show you this photo and give it to you here. What memories does it bring back for you when you, you look at yourself there? I'm thinking, what is the, the trim there? I'm sure it was probably the wind that's just blown it up. Um, but obviously, yeah, good memories. Um, it, was, it was a tough period. I think I've said that before. Obviously, I, I got released from Southampton um, and then came here for a year. Um, and I, I just wasn't confident in in myself, in my ability, and yeah, at times it was it was almost I didn't really want to be playing football anymore. Um, and yeah, I've said before it was important that I just took myself out of the the academy environment and, and got myself back home. And thankfully, I started to enjoy my football a lot more, um, going home playing with my friends and stuff. And yeah, at, at the age of 16, luckily I got the the chance to get back into academy football. And I think at that time I was definitely ready. Um, I grew up quite a lot in those those two years and. I know it's, it's crazy now I'm back here, so yeah, just looking forward to, to getting going again. Before we continue, I'll take that one back off you. I was going to ask you about your early years playing football, more so after you left Bournemouth and growing up in Guernsey, playing for your, your local non-league side. Yeah, that's it. So left Bournemouth, obviously I think I was 13 or 14. Um, and then after that, just playing local football for my local team, St Martins, it was called. Um, and then, yeah, played there for two years and, and also playing for for Guernsey under 15, 16, and then once you hit 16, that's when you can start playing um, like senior football. Um, and it was my 16th birthday. I think a week after my 16th birthday, I was just thrown straight in with the with the senior team at Guernsey. Um, yeah, I played maybe 14, 15 games, and then got got a trial at Bristol City. So you know that all happened so quickly. I feel like the past few years have just flown by, and, and a lot's gone on. And you know I'm so proud and, and so happy to be here now. I was going to ask you, you make that move to Bristol City. It was a hugely successful period in your career over the last few years. How much did that spell with Bristol City help shape your game? Yeah, I know it's, I've improved like so much over the years. Um, obviously, I know I've got so much further to go. Um, but I think just growing up on the pitch and off the pitch as well has been been massive for me in the past few years. You know, moving away at 16 and, and living in digs, um, it's not easy, but. Thankfully, the family I was with really helped with a lot of things. You know, got me into cooking, and you know, just growing up as a as a man. And I know my 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 parents were were grateful for that, and they still are grateful to to the family. Um, and then obviously moving out, living with other players, and it's just you, and you've got to, you've got to look after yourself, cook for yourself, clean for yourself, and you know that's what I've been been doing for the past two years. So yeah, I've definitely grown up um, a whole lot off the pitch, and obviously on the pitch playing so many games in the championship. Um, so it's always going to help you, you know, it's a, it's a physical league um, and it's tough and every week you're fighting for three points um, and I've learned so much off senior players, you know, all the staff at, at Bristol City. So I've said multiple times I'm, I'm forever grateful for, for the opportunity they gave me um, and, you know, to play 90, 85 games um, as a 19 year old in the championship, you know, it's, it's really good for me and, you know, it's been great for my development. Now you were voted as the championship's young player of the season and you earned a spot in the competition's team of the season as well. You must have been extremely proud of those achievements. Yeah, that was that was crazy. You know, obviously the 
the young player of the season was was a special special moment for me. Um, obviously, against such great players as well who are also up for the award. Um, and yeah, to come out on top for that, it was it was a bit of a surprise. And yeah, I was I was so happy. And then I didn't even know about the the team of the season. They just at the uh, at the event they just pulled me and said, "Oh, you got to come with us." And I was a little confused. I didn't know where we was going. Um, and then they just took me behind stage, and I was with the rest of the the other players in the championship. And I was still a bit baffled. Like I thought they would just take us on stage for a photo or something. And then it just popped up that we was in the team of the season. So that was a, a special, special moment, you know, just to come so far in the past three years, like going from playing non-league and, and local football to then being in the championship um, team of the season, uh, and of course now to to be in the Premier League. It's just just a special feeling. It's, one I can't really put into words, but I'm just grateful for, for how far I've come and, and everyone who's helped me along the way. And internationally as well, you're part of the squad for the FIFA Under-20 World Cup earlier this year. You played three, I think, of the, the Young Lions, four games there. What an experience that must have been for you. Yeah, no, it was a great experience. Um, I think obviously tough the way we went out. Um, I feel like we we definitely believe we could have done something special. Um, and I think you see with the, the Under-21s who have just won the Euros as well, there's a real good good core in the in the England setup. Um, of course we won the Euros last year, the under 19 so we really wanted to go go back to back because no team has ever done that. Um, I think that was what we spoke about quite a bit throughout the season. But you know to play for England is a it's a special feeling and, and no one can take that away from me. So I'm I'm so happy that um, I've almost fought myself into the into the England setup. Um, again coming from from nothing really at 15, 16 playing non league football to you know, playing for England, it's just it's just a crazy feeling and yeah, hopefully I can get back fit and, and get into the under-21 squad. Now for those Bournemouth supporters that are watching this interview, can you tell us a little bit more about, you know, the type of midfielder that you are and what we can expect to see from you out on the pitch? Um, yeah, I like to believe I could play any of the three roles of midfielder, the four, eight or ten. Um, I think recently I've played a lot more as a ten, so, you know, I like to dribble, I like to get on the ball, uh, I like to excite fans. Um, and yeah, I'll just I give everything for the shirt. Um, I've got also a little nasty side to me. I can I can go into tackles and and hit people when I need to. So yeah, I like to believe I can I can do all three parts of the game. And I think that's that's so important for a young lad um, who's willing to willing to do that and willing to learn about all three positions. And and yeah, it's just I really want to buy into to what the manager is creating here. So yeah, I'm really excited. Now we're sort of entering into this new era here at AFC Bournemouth, obviously with the change of ownership and the new head coach. How much of a factor was all of that for you? It's a really exciting place to be at the moment. Yeah, no, it was huge. Um, like you said, very exciting. The new manager coming in and, you know, the new training ground being built. Um, and I think the signings that, that have been made, you know, it's promising young players who, you know, are going to gonna give all for the shirt. Um, I think that's, that's definitely what really drove me to come in here. I think the, the setup that that's gone on here behind the scenes and you know especially with the manager coming in he's got a, a real real good style of play and, and a way he wants to play um, and then yeah like I said I look forward to to speaking to him later later on and seeing you know where he sees me fitting in and yeah I just just can't wait to get going um, and yeah to put the shirt on out there would be a really really proud moment for me. And the Premier League is undoubtedly the best league in the world how much are you looking forward to getting stuck in? Oh, I can't wait honestly I can't wait um, you know, it's, it's every kid's dream growing up to, to play in the Premier League one day. Um, and especially for me, like, would have never expected it even three years ago. So, you know, to be here now is a, is a real proud moment. Um, you know, I've still got so, so much to go. Um, but, you know, hopefully get back fit as soon as I can. Put the shirt on and, you know, play that first game in the Premier League will be a real special moment for me and my family. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Just finally, there's been a lot of excitement from AFC Bournemouth fans on social media about your arrival. For all of those people that are watching this, what is your message to them? I think just just get behind the behind the team. You know, there's a great set of fans here. I've played here um, twice before, so so I know how good the fans are, um, and I know when they when they get behind the team how tough it is uh, as an opposition to come here. So, you know, I'll just say get get behind the lads. We're we're going to give everything we can for the shirt, um, and that's that's definitely something that we look forward to, we're going to, well, for me personally, um, I just want to excite the fans, you know, with, with my play style, I want to create create chances, score goals, um, and that's something I definitely need to improve on, so, you know, we're going to go out there, give, give, it, um, give it our all, so, yeah, just be behind us, and, yeah, we won't let you down.